Morning. Place fishing today down on the uh, the Eastbourne Beach of East Sussex on the south coast. Um, conditions today, as you can see out there, are absolutely spot on. Um, sun shining. It's warming up nicely as the sun's climbing up into the sky. Uh, the water's nice and clear. Um, I'll just show you a few rigs that uh, that Ville sent us down for our day's place fishing. Um, we're mostly going to be using a two hook loop rig. Um, as you can see, it's got some nice colourful beads and sequins to attract the place. Um, place are predominantly a sight hunter, so they want the clear water and a bit of colour on your rig attracts them into the bait. Um, other than that, we've got a one hook up and over, so you end up with a, a nice long hook snood that fishes below the lead. It's plenty of movement in it for the place to home in. Same again, we've got the, uh, the infamous green and black beads and a few sequins in between. Got a rig out of the packet here just to show you. We can see the clip for the top of the rig to attach to your shock leader, your main line. Um, that's a swivel trap between two beads, a spring, just a cushion when the uh, when the leader and the hook uh, rig body stretches, that takes up some of the stretch and it doesn't damage the hook snoots. As we come down, same again, the green and black. Um, that looks like a size one hook on the end of there. Excuse the bit of lug, it's only just come out of the water. As you come down the rig, just above the lid, got another hook snood. Um, no spring on this one, that's just trapped between two, be two beads and a, a couple of crimps. And as you come down the hook link, you've got a nice 20 25 pound, which is like a boom section, which, which creates your loop, which obviously on the loop rig. That's a cascade swivel there. And then your last little bit of size one hook, some stop knots trapping your green and your black beads, a few sequins there, and a sweet sequin below, just to cap the top of the bait, just so it doesn't slide up and swallow that little uh, stop knot there. What you do with a cascade swivel, you get hold of your top hook as you're casting, that just hooks in there. Your bottom hook could go onto your splash down, and it fishes nice and streamlined both the bait sitting just behind the lead which obviously keeps the bait in good condition as you're casting and it aids your distance makes it nice and streamlined but they're the rigs we'll be using let's hope that the fish play ball and take a liking to what we're using First one to hit the beach, not the biggest of place, but every little one of them's welcome. They're a pretty little fish, got some nice bright orange spots, but um, for a small mouth, they sure are a greedy little fish when it comes to worm baits. Nice and pretty, and the green and black beads got him going on the feed. 